I, the man, not of the land, but of the sea. I am the man. Morning. My hair's a little bit of a mess. I, I was doing some paragliding this morning, so uh, excuse my appearance here. But I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about being sovereign. It keeps coming up in terms of all the people being abused. You know, the Bundys and Pete Santilli and, and innocent people all over the nation being abused and tortured. And here's what's happening. They're locking them, locking them illegally in prisons. They're putting them in courts of no law, courts of terrorism, where law is completely thrown out, okay? And so then they're getting lawyers or they're looking for solutions. And I don't blame them. They're locked in cages. They're being tortured and abused. And people are looking for solutions. And so people are coming along and they're giving people different solutions. Sometimes it's the legal solution, which occasionally you get these lawyers in there, right? And, and maybe they're fighting for you. The problem is the Constitution's not honored in the courtroom. You can't get representation of your choice. And so the lawyers, to stay lawyers, they have to play the game. And so even they're limited in what they can do. Other people will take the idea of, well, what if we try the sovereign stuff? What if we, what if we try the sovereign citizen? The sovereign citizen stuff is, is so embarrassingly laughable that, that I can't even believe it's taken on. I really think it's, it's most likely that the sovereign citizen ideology was developed by the federal government. And, and they figured, oh, this sounds complicated. It sounds like legalese, so people will pick it up, right? If someone's peddling the sovereign citizen stuff, get, get away from that, okay? Even, even if you're desperate. Look, you know, I know we got some of these guys in jail, and they're trying to pick this stuff up, hoping that it'll help them. It won't. Here's, what it, here's how it works. I've seen this for years. In all my activism for years, I've been hundreds and hundreds. I'm constantly getting emails. Oh, Gavin, you got to do this. You got to do the sovereign thing. If you just file it this way, you, you file a lien, you challenge their oath. None of it works, folks. In the cases they give you where it's working, it's because the system didn't want them right. Joe Schmuck goes in and he's like rambling on about all this sovereign stuff. And he goes in there and he's like, I, the man, not of the land, but of the sea, I am the man, and I stand on my own sovereign, the man, see lowercase, underscore the man, of the air, not, but of the sea, I, the man, am. I mean, it's absolute foolishness. It's literally like double talk, right, from an old movie. And so what happens is people hear it. People hear it and they think, well, that kind of sounds like the legalese that the lawyers do, right? Because the lawyers, the legal system, the court system, they're peddling foolishnesses too. The thing is, their foolishness has no authority. They just have a bigger gun to our head. So people are saying, hey, let's take the fake law in the courtroom. Let's take the fake law in that courtroom. Let's chew it up, turn it inside out, vomit it out, and then call it common law, call it sovereign law. Common law, folks, has nothing to do with the sovereign citizen thing. Common law is natural law. It's human rights. It's God's law. Now, if the atheist doesn't like that it's, hey, Gavin, I don't believe in God, you know what? You have that right. Your rights come from God. If you don't believe me, just believe that you have your rights and let's stand up for them. Listen, folks, God is not the author of confusion and he doesn't need the wisdom of the world. He doesn't need this sovereign stuff. A lot of these people are out there pushing this and they really believe in it. I think the people really behind it are probably the feds. I mean, this is a concerted effort to make people look like fools. They can be declared unfit mentally. I mean, the stuff that's coming out of this is so far out there. It has no part in the Constitution, no part in our law. It's just made up stuff. They're actually using the system of corruption. They're saying, hey, let's file liens. Let's use the IRS and make reports against people. And so they do this stuff to try and like financially cripple judges and public officials. And then people actually go to prison for this. I mean, they make these false claims claims against them because they'll say, oh, I'm going to give you a bill for a million dollars, right? And you have to pay this or this is going to happen. Well, there's, there's no due process. You can't just magically say someone owes you money without due process. We can't deny them the due process that they've denied us. We have to be honorable people and we have to not play the games. And we need to understand that we need to stand up. We need that appeal to heaven. We need to stand up boldly and we need to understand that we're not going to fix this magic words in a courtroom. If going to terrorists and saying, hey, I'm going to say these special words so you stop being a terrorist. If that worked, tyranny, tyranny would never have taken over this world. We wouldn't have the fires of tyranny raging in this land. So the bottom line is, is not for me to pick on people that are using the sovereign stuff as, as hope, right? They're saying, oh, I'll try this to see what happens. And I know we're seeing that with some of our guys in jail. Encourage them to drop it, back away from it because it will not work. It will not work. It will not save them in the courtrooms. We'd be better off standing in the courtroom as a defendant singing hymns and disrupting the trial every time that the, that the prosecutor tries to make up his lies. We'd be better off with that than we would spewing nonsense. We need to get back to simple, pure liberty. Standing up for that. Being bold. 
Bring, bring God into it. Bring liberty into it. Bring love for your neighbor into it. It's so simple. Law is so simple. It's your life, it's your liberty, and it's your property. All for equal. All men are created equal, folks. Stand up for that. Stand up for that. Love your neighbor. Throw out the sovereign stuff, and as soon as somebody starts peddling that on you, just be like, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in wordy, confusing verbiage. I'm not going to play the game of the enemy. The rights are thrown out. They've been thrown away. The law is gone in the courts. The judges universally ignore the Constitution. It's gone. The way we open the hearts and minds and reach out to people is with simple messages, bold messages of liberty, justice, and loving our neighbor for ourselves. So get rid of the nonsense. We don't need it. We need our appeal to heaven, we need a bold stand, and we need to rise up with principle. All right, you guys have a good day. Spread the word. The sovereign citizen verbiage, it's nonsense. It's a lie. It's, it's a plant to throw everything off base. Let's get our eye on the ball, and that ball is liberty.